In this video, we will look at how we can utilize the WebTela APIs to build the SD-WAN overlay network topology. We will use the rich set of APIs that WebTela exposes to build our topology. As we have seen in previous demos, these APIs can be directly accessed from the vManage itself. Let's look at current setup. I have nine VHS, each in a different site and are connected to dual transports. Let's go to policy. As you can see, I have no policy that has been applied so far. So by default, we will have a full mesh network between the sites. Now the program has been written in Python and it leverages the extensive WebTela APIs. In addition to the Python modules, to render the topology, we have used the Next UI framework. If you need more information on the Next UI, please visit the DevNet site, that is developer.cisco.com, where you will find more information about how to use the Next UI framework. So this is our Python program. I am using a Ubuntu machine which has all the required dependencies installed. So let's run our Python program. Send our vManage address. Let's enter our username and password. Now the program passes through the information available through the APIs and will build out the overlay topology which can be viewed through a web page. Let's open the web page. As you can see it lists down all the sites. Let's rearrange them for better visualization. We can see that each site has a full mesh tunnel built to every other site. The number 2 between the links indicate the number of transport tunnels available between the sites. If you hover your mouse over to the site, it will highlight the tunnels that the particular site has formed. Each site indicated as a building can be extend, expanded by clicking on the plus icon which reveals the VH for that site. If a site has multiple VHs, all of them will show up. Once you expand all the sites, it shows you the tunnels between the sites, each of them coded in a different color. Uh, let me expand all the sites. That's the full mesh of tunnels. Let me hold the mouse to site 1 and we can see the tunnels it has built. Similarly, for say site 2, and similarly we can see that for site 5 and for all other sites. Now let's activate the policy and see how the topology changes based on the policy that we defined. Now let me activate a policy. Now I have a regional hierarchical policy. Now this policy as I said is a hierarchical policy in which each site builds a full mesh tunnels only with the sites within the region and uses a border site to go out of the region. Something very much similar to what is shown in the diagram. Let me activate the policy. The policy has been successfully pushed. So let's go back to a web page and let's refresh. Let me arrange the sites again for better visualization. Now, as you can see, all sites do not build a full mesh topology. Instead, each site has a full mesh tunnels only within the region and they leverage the border node or what you can call a regional hub to reach the other regions. Now, if I hover my mouse again to the site, it will show me what particular tunnels that this particular site has formed. Let me again expand all the sites. 
and arrange them Let me hover my mouse to VH1. It shows the tunnels it has formed. It has formed tunnels with both the edges in its side as well as to the other hubs. Similarly for VH4. Let's go to VH3 and you can see that it has formed tunnels with only the sites within the region. Similarly for VH8. The UI framework also offers some themes. So you can change the themes to blue, green, dark, slate and yellow. But I prefer the blue one. You can also zoom in and zoom out within the topology. Thus, with the use of extensive WebTel APIs, customers, developers, and partners can build interesting apps to simplify, enhance, and better visualize their use cases. That's it for this demo, and thanks for watching.